Welcome to the Google Cloud Security Showcase, a special web series where we'll focus on security use cases that customers can solve with G Suite and cloud identity. My name is Brad, and I'm a product manager at Google Cloud. Today, we'll be walking through one of the top questions we get from customers, how do I configure my new organization to protect my devices? G Suite has device management built right into the platform. Basic device management is on by default, which lists all mobile devices that access your G Suite account. And it allows you to wipe the account off of that device if it becomes lost or stolen. And it allows you to enforce a passcode on that device. You can see the device listing from here when you go to mobile devices. And I'm going to show you here. Uh, I've filtered for a device uh, user named Easy. And you can see the list of all the devices that have accessed G Suite account here. Many users would like more stringent controls uh, on their devices. So you can turn on advanced management. When you turn on advanced management, click Save. And this will allow you to provide greater control over the devices that are accessing your G Suite accounts. Um, so you can do things like check for jailbreak detection or check for compromised devices on Android devices. You can look at things like uh, allow or not allow camera. You can require device encryption, that sort of thing. You can also uh, start looking at providing app management on devices so that you can do things like create a curated list of applications that you want to push to devices. All of this is part of advanced management. Now, when you do this, uh, you require your users to jump through a couple more hoops when they log into your, their G Suite account. And that's what I want to show you today. So looking at this device over here, we're going to log in. Hang on one second. OK, let's enroll the phone. So log in. What we're going to do is we're going to open Gmail. And we're going to add this account. And in doing so, it should walk us through enrollment of this device into advanced management. First thing we do is we put in uh, our passcode. Hopefully, I got that right. Let's see. It looks like we're in. Now, the first thing it's going to tell us is we have to install Google Device Policy. It's going to take us to the App Store. We install Google Device Policy from the App Store. Give it just a second to download here. Once Google Device Policy has installed, it's gonna, we're going to open it. And it will walk us through the process for installing a profile from Apple. So we select here. We accept the terms of service. And we install a profile. A profile is required to be able to manage an iOS device. So we do want to allow. We allow. And then here, this is a requirement from Apple. We have to manually go to settings to uh, take the profile and install it on the device. So we follow the instructions here. We go to settings. And the profile is. Right here, we install. And once the install is complete, we have to trust that we're going to allow uh, Google to manage this phone. Hit Done. Now we should be in. Now I should be able to, it says the device has been approved. So now we can go back to Gmail. We can open Gmail. We can sign in. We can enable this account. Done. And now we're into the account. And if I go to the devices list, I can research for this device. And you can see that it's been added. And now this is the device we just added. You can see we have a bunch of information about the device. We can see that uh, because app management is enabled, we've installed some apps on the device. And we also have some control over the device where we can wipe the account or wipe the device. And that's what it took to get an iPhone up and running on uh, advanced device management. Thank you for tuning in.
Please visit cloud.google.com security for more content from Google Cloud experts.